Ain't It Cool News presents Ain't It Scary Reviews, a month-long exploration of terror. There's really only one good reason to see 1973's Scream Blackula Scream. William Marshall is probably best known to members of my generation as the king of cartoons on Pee-wee's Playhouse. That's a true shame, as the Shakespearean-trained actor had so much more talent than the children of the 80s and 90s were led to believe. He takes what normally would be campy and silly and spins it into an impressive show of terrifying force, with his role as the African Prince of Darkness in 1973's black exploitation sequel, Scream Blackula Scream. He elevates this tawdry vampire flick from terrible to passable with his deep bass voice, powerful presence, and true dedication to his craft. It seems like he has no idea that he's been cast in this shitty vampire movie. Instead, Marshall delivers his lines as though he's performing Othello from the center stage of the Globe Theater. Your only justification for crawling on this earth is to serve me. He deserved much better than this. By all accounts, Scream Blackula's Scream should be a terrible time sucker, but Marshall makes it watchable. When the head of a voodoo church passes on, her shunned heir seeks revenge. He unleashes the power of Blackula without understanding the deadly ramifications. The first third of the movie is fun, as Blackula seeks out victims and builds a small army of vampire henchmen. He meets Pam Greer, a young voodoo priestess who may hold the key to releasing him from his curse. But her ex-cop boyfriend is onto Blackula and believes him to be the culprit of several suspicious slayings around town. The film starts off strong and felt on par with its hammer peers of the time, featuring Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. But once Blackula decides to spend more time getting to know Pam Greer, instead of beating up pimps and teaching his new apprentice how to suck blood, the fun begins to fade. It has a good ending with the cops taking on Blackula's vampire battalion, but it's not quite enough to overcome the painfully boring mid-movie slowdown. On the plus side, it's an interesting time capsule for American culture in the 1970s, full of swinging fashions and music that jives. There is some lip service given to empowering black culture and reversing society's negative trends of the day. You jive, mother. Either you give it up or we're going to take it out on your black ass. You made a slave of your sister. You're still slaves, imitating your slave masters. Hey, sucker. <clears throat> but otherwise, it felt like producers were just cashing in on a niche market. Overall, Scream Blackula Scream should only be watched by those who want to see a true master transcend an anemic, artistic environment. And it would help to have the remote handy. You may need that fast-forward button. <laughs>